Hey, Candice, this is Greg Rossica. How are you? I'm doing well. How are you, Greg? Doing great, thanks. Thank you so much for joining me once again. I really appreciate Certainly. it. Certainly. You know, what do ta taxpayers need to do about the recent tax law changes? So each year, you know, usually comes with new tax law changes, and this year isn't any different, but, you know, not as many as we've had in prior years. I think that's part of the good news. There were some reenactments of some provisions that had expired during the year, but then they came back, so that makes it very similar to the prior year, something like, um, you know, a deduction teachers can take for above the line school supplies that they buy, which is always nice to be able to take and help out their students in, in classrooms, as well as uh, the deduction for sales tax came back in. So you can deduct either sales tax or your state income taxes that you have. You choose between the two, but that came back into play. And probably the bigger news that's impacting almost everyone is the onset of the Affordable Care Act. And really what the Affordable Care Act did was required everyone to have a level of health insurance. And so a few different situations that's going to impact everyone's tax filing. One, maybe you were an employee and you got your insurance through your employer at place of work, in which case there's a new box that you have to check on your tax return indicating that you do have that insurance through work. The second would be where you purchased health insurance through the marketplace. And if you did that, you probably received a form 1095 in the mail a few weeks ago, and you need to incorporate that into your tax return. And then the third area is where you just simply didn't get insurance, and it was a requirement, and so you are, you have subject to a penalty. And so there's a form that you need to fill out and a calculation that you need to do to figure out what that penalty is and be able to either send that in or have that impact any kind of refund that you might otherwise have received. And what steps can taxpayers take now that can make tax filing easier? I think to try to make the tax filing easier, you, know, you have to look for some type of resource to help you with, whether it's going to a CPA or if you're going to do it yourself using a guide like the EY Tax Guide to help you go through and organize what your documents are, to help you find the types of deductions that are appropriate to you, and to help really jog your memory by looking at a list of like the 50 most overlooked deductions that we have, as well as 25 of the common errors. And also, you know, in the tax guide, we list out in an index life situations that you might be in because each of the life situations has tax implications to it and rather than you try to figure out the hundreds or thousands of deductions that are out there you know what we do is kind of narrow those down so if you are self-employed or have a small business the types of expenses you should be thinking about if you bought a house you know had a had a child during the year you know what are the relevant deductions for that situation and so we try to help narrow it down for you to make it a little bit easier and also you know as you start take out last year's tax return because that's going to help you tremendously. There might be items on there that carry over, such as a capital loss from last year that you can use this year, or simply just jog your memory as to certain types of income that you had and deductions that you're able to take that you may be entitled to this year as well. And how do taxpayers deal with green tax breaks and incentives, tax treatment of mutual funds, gift and estate tax planning? So there's lots of different things that, that can impact you. You know, when it comes to green tax breaks, if you've bought certain items, improvements, maybe for your house, house that are um, energy efficient, you may be able to get some tax deductions for that. When it comes to things like a mutual fund and selling a mutual fund, you know, it can be complicated if you've held it for a few years because, you know, you actually may otherwise pay a higher gain than you need to. Things like taxes that you've paid each year on dividend reinvestment and capital gain reinvestments where you didn't take the money out, you know, those actually increase your basis, which decreases the tax and the gain when you ultimately sell those. And what are the most common tax filing errors and overlooked tax deductions? So we have that list of 25, uh, you know, common errors that people make. Some are fairly simple and straightforward, like you know, you're so excited when you finish your return, you, you send it off and you forgot to sign it, uh, or you didn't sit down and, and really check your math. Uh, if you did it manually or check the numbers you input if you did it on a piece of software. But also, you know, when you finish your return, give it a rest for a minute. You know, set it aside, come back the next day or later that day and do exactly what the IRS is going to do. Compare your tax return to the information that's been sent into the IRS already. So things like a W-2 that your employer sent to the IRS or a 1099 that your bank sent to the IRS telling it how much interest they paid you you know, those items, you want to make sure you've incorporated those properly in your tax return. It's clear and, and minimize any chance of getting a notice from the IRS. And where can we go for more information? So the EY Tax Guide is available anywhere books are sold, online or in traditional bookstores, as well as an ebook format that you can download. And you can also go to our website at ey.com 
forward slash EY tax guide, where you'll find any new information that's come out recently, as well as a list of the 50 most common uh, overlooked deductions and the 25 most common errors. Well, thank you. It's always great. I really appreciate it. All right. It. Have thank a great you, afternoon. Candace. You too. Thank you. Bye-bye.